How many of you do dance in one of the boys in here? The whole goal of these, this series is to get younger seniors, which I will attest to being, um, involved with UIPI, that she started at the age of four, and she also has her professional name in Japan, let's see if I can get this right, it's Hanayagi Rei Michi, so without further ado, Reiko. But, um, as you may have heard, my uh, late father-in-law, Reverend Yoshio Iwanaga, was the one who brought the Obon to the United States. So he had developed this uh, pattern of um, Doyo Ryo, dances for children. Uh, he was invited to Hawaii in 1930. I'll kind of walk you through how to decorate your, your uchiwa, have some food, go back and forth. You could hear <laughs> oh, <gee. laughs> oh, <laughs> pretty. I haven't finished it. Oh, I've got a detail. No, no, no. How about yeah, strawberry shortcake? I think that was open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They eat good. I thought that this would be another attraction to keep people in the Buddhist faith because he was teaching uh, dancing as related to Jodo Shinchu principles. And the winner is Sharon Ueda. Oh, that's good. Yay! Congratulations. And I try to follow that too, where we have a combination of some religious songs as well as popular songs. Right. And to keep it simple so that everyone could join in. And it's Obonota. And it was the one that he choreographed. It's the original choreography, and it was his idea to dance at the beginning and at the end. 